you all. My name is Michaela. I'm going to start this speech off by asking you a simple question. Does anybody know what the three R's are? Recycle. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Exactly. You knew it immediately without any context, without me telling you anything. That's because those three things are already taught. We should already know them. Now let me ask you this. How often do you reduce, reuse, and recycle? Probably not as often as you should. I know I don't. These next few minutes are going to consist on why we should take care of our environment and how. Population and society have a major impact on our environment. Our world is directly affected by the choices that we make here. Every bit of negative energy or toxicity that happens around us also will happen in our atmosphere. That pressure and that energy is then transformed into storms, strong winds, high tides. All of these then turn into erosion and our earth begins to change. Overpopulation has a major effect on our environment as well. As population increases, so does the need for development and resources. Burning trees for new development and the use of Fossil fuels both increase the amount of carbon dioxide in our air. That can be detrimental to our atmosphere. There's a risk all around that can harm our environment. We can't stop overpopulation, but there are things that we can do to help out our environment. Now let's talk about how we can make a change. Let's go back to the three R's, reducing, reusing, and recycling. I'm gonna go into depth and explain what those three mean. Let's say, let's start reducing the amount of resources that we use by saving water and not buying plastic cups. Let's reuse anything that you can, for example, writing on both sides of a piece of paper. Recycle your plastics and paper. These things do not have to be hard and they don't and you don't have to go out of your way to use them. For example, the other day I went to the store, the grocery store. Everybody has to go to the grocery store. And I went and I bought a cup. And then I bought reusable straws. Now this is something that I did, but it did not inconvenience me at all. I didn't have to go out of my way. That's because I incorporated it into my lifestyle. Some other easy environmentally effective things would be picking up trash or just not littering in the first place. A single plastic straw can actually take up to 200 years to decompose. There are also tons of drop off locations for trash and recycling. You could go to your local CVS or Walgreens or, I don't know, my, my job, for example, has a dumpster and a recycling bin. Now, if you want to make a bigger change and do something greater and really put yourself out there, reach out to your community. There's tons of communities that have programs and activities and events planned where you can go and you can help out, whether it's picking up trash or you know, providing things for other people, all of those can be beneficial to our environment. For example, if you visit the City of Huntsville website, they have a tab specifically dedicated to recycling and the things that they do to help out just our city. They can help you choose a good route and they can also help you learn more about what you can do. Now taking care of the environment truly means taking care of yourself because it's all connected in a cycle. It doesn't have to take it does not take a diff it does not take a lot to make a difference so there really are no excuses on why we can't leave here today better than we were yesterday wendell berry stated the earth is one thing that we all have in common so let's unite and make the world a better place <laughs>